hello friends so welcome to desi teacher videsh so in today's video i will discuss about the recent phd positions and deadline in finland and deadline for these positions is in april itself so you have to apply as soon as possible okay and the research field for these positions are physics material science computer science informatics industrial engineering management electronics engineering electrical engineering and all okay so please go through these positions and i will discuss each positions in detail and how to apply okay so let's go through these positions okay so this is the first position you can see the doctor research in the field of organic electronics yes and this is at alto university finland and last it is 17th of april so please remember yes and the main research work is related to the field of organic transistors and leds leds means light emitting devices yes so what are the requirements here so you should have the master's degree in either physics material science or closely related field and so i would say that even electronics or electrical if you have some experience or some like uh, organic transistors or leds yes so what like okay the basic english requirement and experience in carrying out independent research so that is okay yes or in the collaborative environment as well so this is the basically basic requirements so you should be able to do the independent research work and also like uh, you should be a team player so if you are working in some project maybe so many researchers are working together so you should also be able to work in a team okay so experience in materials characterization or device fabrication so and experience in thin film electronics and characterization is highly desirable so remember does not matter you have masters in physics material science electronics electrical but if you have this experience in this field right for example material characterization or thin film electronics you must apply for this job or this phd position why i say job because phd is considered as a job or as an employment in finland okay what you will get you will get a starting salary 2600 euro per month but it will may, may increase if you are working in some projects or maybe you will get some for example additional fundings for example then it will increase but this is the basic right requirement depending on your performance or something you can get some other funding from the university but starting salary is 2600 euro per month so how to apply you should have the motivational letter right starting your career goals and how conducting a phd is aligned with them so how to write motivational letter you can check my uh, video related to motivational letter okay your cv and your cv must be uh, like uh, i should be the format should be the tank like or, or according to the tank tank.fi you can check uh, in my previous videos i always uh, also showed about how to prep uh, like prepare a cv for the research positions basically and because in finland uh, generally they prefer like the format uh, mentioned in tank.fi okay and letter of recommendation of supervisor yes or current employer if you are working and course transcript of the previous degree and two pages of the research proposal maximum two pages and this is if you have any doubt how to prepare a research proposal you can contact me and i can guide you how to prepare a research proposal this is very very important because it is clearly written highly desirable yes okay and if you want to know more about this information you can contact directly contact to the assistant professor katrina yes first name lot last name means katrina dot soldano at the rate alto dot fi and related to the recruitment process you can contact i think hanna maybe she is working in hr okay and link is here right to apply and link i will also post in the description box of this video yes okay another position basically this is not a one position three doctoral position the department of industrial engineering and management this is also also at alto university and deadline is 27th of april So basically the department of industry engineering and management uh, works in three different areas or i can say the research areas entrepreneurial leadership operations and service management and strategy and venturing so one of these like field you can choose okay and what are the requirements so basic requirements like you should have the excellent academic background right okay and how to apply so these are the requirements you can clearly see here motivational letter your cv yes and uh, research plan or research proposal and cv 
and academic records so a transcripts of academic records and reference letters from two academicians so this is all you can see also and you can see also in the link when i will uh, show you the link as well okay what is the typical salary so you know like 2500 euro and others you can get and please remember that for the like phd researcher you will get all the benefits right so for example if you have the ch uh, child if you have the for example children or you if you have your spouse your spouse will get the for example unemployment allowance as well and child will also get child benefits so do not worry like you will get all the benefits because phd is considered as a job and for the requirements you can see here right so you can contact and link is here and link i will also post at the description box of this video another position so this is at university of olu and last it is 10th of april so very soon and this is in vehicular computing yes so this is related to the software engineering software systems and services yes so master degree in relevant fields so definitely you should have either master's degree in computer science software information science or electrical engineering electronics engineering yes okay and other basically related things for example if you have the previous experience in machine learning statistics applied mathematics signal processing or cloud computing these fields so they will be high it will be means you will have upper hand for example during the selection process if you have this experience it is not mandatory but if you have you will have upper hand moreover if you have some knowledge in like uh, languages for example uh, python matlab or c family languages something like that or java then also it will be good and experience in for example paradigms including distribute computing or something like that so if you have some kind of uh, experience you have to show like uh, uh, in your motivational letter you understand yeah this is like uh, very much important you, whatever you have experience you must show otherwise who will come to know okay yes typical starting salary you know already 2500 to 2600 euro per month this is the typical salary in finland the starting salary i'm saying and how to apply so these are the for example documents for example cover letter yes maximum two pages in this cover letter you have to summarize your professional experience expertise and you have to tell why you are the right person right for this phd position this is the cover letter because this cover letter is very very important this is i can say the application letter and cv you can clearly see the guidelines right so this guidelines if i click it will open up the tank.fi so tank.fi and then i already showed many times so tank.fi you can check what are the requirements of cv i will send this link uh i will also put this link to the description box of this video so uh, do not worry okay list of publications yes so you should have list of publication and any certificate diplomas transcripts and contact information of two persons available for recommendation yes this is also very very important link is here right a link i also i will put at the description box of this video okay so another researcher position doctoral researcher or phd is biostatics and this is a temporary university and last is 20th of april understand so this is related to the basically uh, statistical modeling and machine learning methods yes uh, uh, basically uh, they will work on like nutrition food sustainability and different diseases but you have to apply this computational methods uh, for your research okay and topic of the phd research basically will be discussed with your like uh, jointly with doctoral student means you and your supervisor so you have to discuss with your supervisor and that this will be later on finalized so what is the qualification is master degree in statistics bioinformatics computational biology or other field even the mathematics and uh, or it they can also apply if you have some uh, knowledge about the statistical modeling for example stata python if you or r or sas if you have uh, worked on this data analysis tools then it will be highly appreciable yes okay and fluent skills and uh, theoretical knowledge and statistics and computing so this is the basic requirement but please remember if you have knowledge of these tools r sas stata and or python please apply for this position okay salary you already know 2200 to 2700 but on average 2500 what i say so you have to submit this uh, your application along with these documents most of like a phd position the documents are same so i don't need to go through again but 20th of april please remember you have to apply and please contact right now if you want if you were interested right now you can contact professor yakko 
right now and this is the contact number as well so email id and contact number and this is the link and link i will also post at the description box of this video okay friends so i hope you like this video so do not forget to contact me on my instagram if you have some problems or issues to understand and how to prepare the documents for these positions okay so i will come up for the other videos related to the jobs in finland for freshers for experienced people especially the international international candidates who want to apply from outside european union okay so do not forget to click on the bell icon so you can get updated for the further videos and also so do not forget to subscribe my other channel desi teach in europe that is dedicated to informative videos about finland thank you very much and have a good day